National Player of the Week. One Mizzou Volleyball player received that award yesterday. See who it is in just a few. Now from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. Dear Big 12, we can still be friends, right? The breakup between Texas A&M and the Big 12 hasn't happened yet, but it seems the Aggies are ready for change. The New York Times reported on Monday, Texas A&M's president sent a letter to the Big 12 Board of Director Chairman indicating the Aggies' withdrawal from the league. The Big 12 chair is Missouri Chancellor Brady Deaton. But yesterday, Deaton talked on Columbia radio station KFRU where he disputed receiving any sort of letter from Texas A&M. When I saw the New York Times story, I said, my goodness, did I opened my mail. It isn't here. So I immediately called as I was walking into the studio. I called Boyne Lofton. I said, Boyne, have you sent me a letter? I see in the New York Times you have. Boyne said, no, I just issued a news release clarifying that I have not sent such a letter. Mizzou's Molly Krecklow recently was named the Big 12 Player of the Week. Apparently for her, that wasn't good enough because the Volleyball Coaches Association named the Tiger sophomore its National Player of the Week. Kreklo won the Tiger Invitational MVP award after her team picked up four wins to start the season. Kreklo averaged more than 37 assists per match and picked up 42, yeah, 42 against Idaho State. She also had 13 kills and 16 digs. Former Missouri volleyball player Tatum Anderson is now the head coach of the Rockbridge High School team. The 2005 Big 12 Libero of the Year still holds the school record for career digs. Rockbridge visiting Jefferson City last night. There's the coach. Jeff City's Kristen Burnett in the first set with a nice spike here. Yeah, drink that. 18-11 Jays. Still in the first set, Jeff City playing some good defense now with a nice block right there and they're winning the first set 24-2015 go on to win 25-15 second set now Kristen Burnett that girl again with a nice spike as the Jays continue to roll and then just some icing on the cake more good defense out of the Jays perfect block right there as they win the second set 25-11 more high school volleyball action Hickman hosting Hannibal in its season opener first game Hickman killed by Rachel Brenner not right here. Nice, right over the blockers and past the diver. But Hickman's down 23-13. Second game, Hickman, another kill by none other as Grace Fleming. Nice spike right there. But once again, Hickman's still down 19-14. And Hickman will actually lose both games, 25-14, 25-19. Ten and a half games back on, of Milwaukee in the National League Central. And things aren't looking so good for the Cardinals. But hey, you still have to play the games. St. Louis visiting Milwaukee last night, and in the top of the fifth, there's no score when Edwin Jackson helps his own cause by singling to right, and the Cardinals go up 1-0 as Schumacher scores. And then still in the fifth, John Jay at the plate. Nice small ball here by the Cardinals as he gets a sack by the left, but it's a slim lead, only 2-0. Sixth inning now, still 2-0, but Nigel Morgan says, hold on a minute as he hits a double to right field, and Milwaukee would cut the lead in half to 2-1, but don't worry, the Cardinals do hold on to the win. Two to one. Blake and Men Megan, the Cardinals get the nice victory, but the Royals, not so much last night, is they lost two to one in ten innings to the Detroit Tigers. I thought it was so hard to lose like that. Yeah, it's a close one. I don't think Megan cares about the Royals. Though. I know, not at all. She's, Actually, no, I care about the Royals. She There's does. A lot I mean, of great both Royals teams fans. at this point are out, so <laughs> you yeah. like to say at least the Cardinals win. Mm -hmm. Andrew. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living in uh, delirium. 